very lucky to be able to do what I do for a living. This is what I do for a living. Is that a cool thing or what, man? Yeah. You know? I used to get kicked out of class for being a jerk, and now I get paid for it. <laughs> but when I was a kid in school, I was a little wimp, same size I am now. And I had a, I had a speaking disorder called dyslexia. Do you all know what that is? So the only way I could, you know, deal with this was I thought, I'm dyslexic, I'm seeing the words in reverse, why not say them in reverse? See if it freaks these guys out. Because they go, hey, here comes that little penis with ears. <laughs> Which is weird, because I don't remember going to school in the South. <laughs> well, maybe I did. <laughs> so... Whenever I perform, and even tonight, I said to, you know, the director, and up in the booth there, I said, I don't know how much time I'm going to do, because, you know, I can only talk a certain way for so long, and then, boy, oh boy, I started bocking tackwards, and you wouldn't buck and believe it, Huck and Fappens. <laughs> Wait a muck and fin it, I'm duck and fooing it. <laughs> well, here, guck and foes, I don't shiv a git, no pruck and fobble. <laughs> What I want to do is tell you a little Terry fail or a fairy tale about a beautiful girl, a beautiful girl, named Rindusella or Cinderella. Now I'll start out by saying, Runts upon a time in a corn country lived a prancing hinch and a cansy fassel, the one to throw a bancy fall. <laughs> so he invited all the reeple from piles around. That included Rindusella, her mugly other, and her three sad blisters. <laughs> Two of which were real up and fugly. <laughs> Show net, I'm talking felling you. One of them was so up and fugly, she had this great big walking fork in her knocking post. <laughs> Show net, her face would mag and gag it. <laughs> so, psych I led, they're getting all dressed to go to the Bansy Falls. So, all of a sudden. <coughs> Rindersella's mug the other said to Rindersella, you're got knowing. She said, yuck, foo, I am. <laughs> she said, you're knocking fought. <laughs> you got too much walking fork to do around the hawk and faust in a bad gizzy. <laughs> she said, you're crockin' paisy. <laughs> I duckin' fun it this morning. She said, you duck and fiddin', look under the tuck and fable, look at all that duck and fuss. <laughs> Rindusella looked one took, said, smoly, hulk. <laughs> Here, rock and fight him, suck and for you, duck and fool it, won't dirty. <laughs> and they left her all at home, sire belf. <laughs> but there was only one prock and fablum. <laughs> what they didn't knock and foe was, Rindusella had a Gary Fod mother. who had a wagic mon. <laughs> you won't fucking believe what Huck and Fappen's next. <laughs> Rinder sells at home, she's fleeping the swore like crook and fazy. Saul of a udden from the runner of the coom. <laughs> Rinder sell a look one took, said, who the huck are you? <laughs> Smoly, hope do you ever look stuck and foopid? You got a crook and found a drancy fist and a wagic mon. Who the huck are you? She said, I'm your Gary Fod mother. And I heard you want to go to the Bancy Fall to meet the Pransom Hints and the Cansey Fassel. She said, you're rock and fight a duck and foo. But foul the huck, can I got and foo wearing these rock and fags? Gary Fodmother said, pro noblem. <laughs> In my possession, beautiful burl, I have a wagic mon. Then all I have to duck and poo is walk and pave it at your rockin' fags. I'll turn it into a drancy fess. <laughs> Rindersella said, you're on drunk and fugs. <laughs> she said, no, walkin' fay, you walkin' fosh. Smoly hoax, she ducking for it. Turn those rockin' fags into a drancy fest. Rinder Sella said, too, mockin' fudge. Can I got and phone now? She said, beautiful Burl, how can you be so stuck and foopid? 
Look, one took outside. It's raining dats and cogs. You'll get your drunken vessel ducking furdy in the muck and fud. <laughs> she said, we'll do some more of your stagic muff. <laughs> I'm not even touching it. Because <laughs> I know y'all waiting for me to huck fuck. She said, bring me over that piney pumpkin. She brought it over, took it on the table, guns it went, Smoley hoax, she duck and fun it again. <laughs> Turn that piney pumpkin into a can't see foach, render cellus it <clears throat> too muck and fudge. <laughs> Can I duck and phone now? She said, beautiful burrow. We bear. See the walk on the call? <laughs> Check the next line out. If the mock strucks Clid night. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> if the mock strucks Clid night, the whole plucking face is gonna go crockin' face, and I guarantee you, guns away, you can't supposed to be a piney tumpin' against when your drancy vessel turned to rockin' fags. <laughs> <laughs> Yank too. <laughs> So, you know what happened. She went to the fancy fall to meet the prance hints, of course. And she met him on the stuck and fairs. <laughs> Instantly, he lell in fuff. Because she hooked his tart. <laughs> no walking fair. <laughs> this is a guy we're talking about here. He looked one, took it her take bits, got a buck and phone her. <laughs> Also know what happened. They had a dance together, but the mock struck Clid night, she slopped her dripper. <laughs> roll her, roll her. No. Been there, bought the t-shirt. And the Pransom Hints uh found it. You can't put two F's together, I don't care. And he took it out into the kingdom to try it in every beautiful burrow to see what Fid did. Of course, when he gets to Rinder Salas' house, had a dock on the north because the bordel was broken. <laughs> First sad blister comes to the duck and four. She says, Who the huck are you? <laughs> he said, Foot out your put. <laughs> she foot out her put. He fuck her took, slipped the tipper, tried it on, fit and dip. Came to the second sad blister, she foot out her putty, fuck her took, slick her tipper, tried it on, fit and it. But he had one sad blister left to guck and poke. In my Terry Vale, anyway. She foot out her putty, fuck her took, slick the tipper, trick, trick, fit and it. I know what you're all thinking. You're looking at me going, hey, wait, I'm not gonna fit it. You're a fall headed Bart. You are an Enos with Pierce. <laughs> you just are fucked. I say, no walking fay. Y'all go, you're rocking fight. Let <laughs> you try, just for fun, say, you're rocking fight. You're rocking fight. No prockin' fava. <laughs> but I did knock fup. Rinder Sella was dying behind the whore. <laughs> <laughs> to put that thing there. <laughs> I don't mean any disrespect. It's just the way it works out phonetically. <laughs> he said, beautiful burrow, foot out your put. She foot out her put. He fuck her took, slick the tipper, tried it on. Smoke, I hope it fit dead. <laughs> About tucking fine, too. <laughs> and so when he had found the beautiful burrow, the one he met at the Bancy Fall, one that he lull and fub with, and the one that hooked his tongue. And they lived happily ever after and had three beautiful kids, two girls and a boy. Well, or two girls and a guy, if you're Jewish. <laughs> I have no idea where the little girls are. But you know what? The good Lord has blessed me with a sense of humor. 
So I always know where the little boy is. I want to thank you from inside my heart, gang, not my head. God bless you. Bye. <laughs>